The German radio has just announced that Hitler is dead. I repeat that Hitler is dead. May 8, 1947. Director FBI J. Edgar Hoover. The American army officials in Germany have not located Hitler's body, nor is there any reliable source who will say definitely that Hitler is dead. Two years after the end of the war, this should have been settled history. But you get into these FBI files, and you'll see right away they had an active investigation looking for this guy. This case is a mess. If you look at the FBI files, it throws open the investigation. Bob Baer, a 21-year CIA veteran and one of the most respected intelligence minds in the world, has dedicated his career to cracking some of the CIA's greatest enigmas and tracking fugitives like Saddam Hussein. Most people know me from the movie Syriana. The role George Clooney played was based on my life. You walk into the CIA and there's a quote, know the truth and it will set you free. My boss has always said, you're the only one in this building who believes that. Narrative the government gives us is a lie. You can't tell people the truth because it scares them. And if they get scared, they can't sleep at night. And if they can't sleep at night, they get up in the morning and they vote you out of office. All the stories we've been told about Hitler's bunker, there's nothing to back it up. It's the biggest mystery of the 20th century. April 30th, 1945. With Soviet troops closing in on Berlin, Hitler and his wife, Eva Braun, are reported to have committed suicide in his bunker. May 2nd, Soviet troops storm Hitler's bunker, contaminating the crime scene and shipping his supposed remains to Moscow. The Russians were into full looting mode. They completely botched the investigation. We have no primary witnesses. We have no forensics. July 17th, 1945, at the Potsdam Conference, Stalin reportedly tells other world leaders he believes Hitler may have gotten away. These are very serious men who are very careful about what they say. 2009, a team of American scientists gets access to the remains that the Soviets claimed were Hitler's. A DNA analysis determines the remains belong to a woman. The forensics we do have make it look as if Hitler got away. So if you've got money, and you know what you're doing, you can disappear. In 1945, people wanted the war over and nobody wanted to dig into what actually happened to Hitler. 2014, the FBI declassifies files regarding Hitler's death, opening the door to what could be the biggest cover-up in history. In these files, there are thousands of leads. This is report after report after report. Armed with 700 pages of newly declassified documents and the most cutting edge technology, Bob puts together a team of some of the most respected experts in the world. International investigators, Nazi hunters, forensic scientists, investigative journalists, military manhunters, and premier war crimes investigator, Dr. John Sensich. I was appointed by the United Nations to work the world's most heinous crimes involving some of the world's worst criminals. The truth is going to come forward from my perspective. It's going to be objective, and that's what I want to do. 